Hi there. <clears throat> this is a very instructive problem. Let's talk about it. Here you're given a function. It's a quadratic function. f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 15. The equation version of that is x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Now, if you solve that equation, what you discover, let me see if I can move this down here like this, what you discover right here is that x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 0 can be factored like this, x plus 3 times x minus 5 equals 0, we set each factor equal to 0, and boom, we come up with x equals negative 3 and x equals 5. And those are the solutions to the equation version of the function x squared minus 2x minus 15. What does that mean? What it means is this that when you solve the equation version of the function, the answers you get when they're not complex numbers are numbers on the x-axis, and those are the x-intercepts of the graph. The graph represents the entire function. The equation represents or gives you the x-intercepts. Now, look at this. The solutions we just found out, and they're given here. I included the answers because it was important for showing you something. The solutions of this equation are negative 3 and 5. The x-intercepts of this function are negative 3, 0 and 5, 0. Remember, points always have um, two numbers that describe their location. Okay, now something you're going to need to know for college algebra is that there's another word for the solution of this equation. And that is, these are called zeros of the function just something to remember, zeros of the function, because these are the values of x that set this function equal to zero. Okay, you've learned a lot. Talk to you later.